Welcome to the PT Infra DPK Spotlight video. In the Spotlight series, we will give an overview of what the PT Infra DPK includes and when it's made available, and then review the file names and content of the PT Infra DPK. You'll see a demonstration using the PT Infra DPK with a new installation of PeopleSoft Update Image and how to verify that the installation was successful. We will also review documentation resources. Oracle delivers the PT Infra DPK when updated critical patch updates for one or more of the software components are available or required. It is not available on the same schedule as PeopleSoft People Tools or the PeopleSoft Images. You can find the PT Infra DPK in the Patches and Updates area of My Oracle Support. The PT Infra DPK is specific to a given People Tools release. You can't use the People Tools 858 version, for example to install the software components included on a PeopleTools 857 installation. The PT Infra DPK includes CPUs for Oracle Tuxedo, Oracle WebLogic, JDK, GRE, and Oracle Database Client, and is available for Microsoft Windows, Linux, AIX, Solaris, and HP UX. Note that Oracle JDK is included only for Windows, Linux, and Solaris operating systems. The file names for the PT Infra DPK include an abbreviation for the operating system type, the People Tools release such as 858, and the date that it was made available in the format year, month, day. The DPK on MOS is double zipped. After unzipping the first one, you get a second zip file and a README text file. The embedded zip file includes the archives for the software components and the manifest file which includes the software versions. For example, this is the manifest for the Windows version of the DPK. It includes JDK and JRE 1.8.0 underscore 251 April 2020 CPU, Oracle WebLogic 12.2.1.4 April 2020 CPU, Oracle Database Client 12.2.1 October 2019 CPU and Oracle Tuxedo 12.2.2.0 VS 2017. Also notice that the manifest specifies a minimum People Tools version that the PT Infra DPK can be used with, which in this example is 85802. You will use the manifest file to determine the software versions included. You can use the PT Infra DPK only for new installations. You cannot use it to update components on an existing PeopleSoft environment. Download the PT Infra DPK into the same directory as the PeopleTools patch DPKs or PeopleSoft application images. The DPK setup script will use the components from the PT Infra DPK for deployment. Use the PT Infra DPK when you are performing a new installation of PeopleSoft Update Images for performing PUM maintenance, PeopleSoft Update Images to install a new PeopleSoft application environment, PeopleSoft Upgrade Source Images to use with a PeopleSoft application upgrade, PeopleSoft PeopleTools and Patch Sets for applying a PeopleTools patch or PeopleTools only upgrade, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana DPK. When you use the PT Infra DPK with the ELK DPK, it installs GRE only. When planning your new installation, check for the PT Infra DPK by searching for the latest PeopleTools patches in My Oracle support. As mentioned, the PT Infra DPK is double zipped and the name includes the date it was made available. To decide whether to use the DPK in your new installation, you will need to download it and extract the manifest file that lists the software components. Use the PT Infra DPK when it includes more recent software components than the PeopleSoft patch DPKs or PeopleSoft image that you're installing. In the following demonstration, we will compare the manifest for the PT Infra DPK with that for the PeopleSoft application images to decide whether to make use of the PT Infra DPK. 
For this demonstration, we use the PT Infra DPK for a full tier deployment of an FSAM image. You will need to review the installation guide for the PT Infra DPK. Download the PT Infra DPK and extract the manifest so that you can compare it with the manifest from the FSAM image. Then run the DPK setup script and check the versions for the components. We previously downloaded the 11 DPKs for the FSAM 9.2.36 update image from My Oracle support and save them in the directory dpk underscore install. We will use this image to install a full PeopleSoft environment. To get the manifest for the image, copy the second zip file to a temporary directory and extract it. Then open the archive for the embedded zip and extract only the manifest. Compare this manifest to the one from the PT Infra DPK. Now you'll need to get the documentation and software for the PT Infra DPK. Begin by going to the PeopleTools 858 homepage in My Oracle Support and downloading the installation guide for the PT Infra DPK. The installation guide has sections for using the PT Infra DPK with the various types of installations. For example, for this demonstration, we will use the instructions for the update images. To get the DPK, go to My Oracle Support Patches and Updates and search for PeopleTools 858. We can filter the results by including PT Infra in the description. Save the Windows version of the DPK to a temporary directory. As we showed earlier, the PT Infra DPK is double zipped. Extract the first zip and then extract only the manifest. Looking at the two manifests, the PT Infra has a later version of JDK 1.8.0 underscore 251 April 2020 CPU compared to that in the FSEM image 1.8.0 underscore 241 January 2020 CPU. The weblogic version in the PT Infra DPK is 12.2.1.4 April 2020 CPU which is later than the January 2020 CPU in the FSEM image DPK. This means that when we include the PT Infra DPK with our DPK set for the image and do the installation, we will get an environment that has these updated versions. You'll also have to check the minimum tools version. To use the PT Infra DPK, the people tools version in the image must be equal to or greater than the minimum people tools version required by the PT Infra DPK as it is in this case. To begin the installation, Copy the PT Infra DPK into the DPK install directory with the other DPKs. Use the embedded zip file whose name ends in one of one dot zip for the deployment. Extract only the first DPK from the FSCM image to get the setup directory and the DPK setup script. Then run the setup script for a full tier deployment. and enter c colon slash psft as the base directory. As the script runs, notice the steps for validating and extracting the PT Infra DPK along with the other DPKs. Supply the necessary passwords and other information and answer yes to the question about a default deployment.
When the deployment is complete, you can look at the base directory. WebLogic has been installed in C colon slash PSFT slash PT slash BEA slash WL server. JDK has been installed under C colon slash PSFT slash PT slash JDK 1.8.0 underscore 251 and JRE is under C colon slash PSFT slash PT slash PS underscore home 85803. In a command prompt, go to the bin directory for the JDK installation and type java hyphen version. See that the version is the same as that in the PT Infra DPK 1.8.0 underscore 251. Change to the directory c colon slash psft slash pt slash ps underscore home 85803 slash jre slash bin and type java hyphen version to see that the jre version is also 1.8.0 underscore 251. For web logic, first set the oracle underscore home environment variable to c colon slash psft slash pt slash bea. Go to the directory c colon slash psft slash pt slash bea slash o patch. Enter the opatch ls inventory command and save the output to a text file. The text file includes a list of the patches that have been applied. You can compare this output to the My Oracle support document that lists the critical patch updates for Fusion middleware and other Oracle products. We are using the April 2020 patch availability document. You can find later CPU programs by searching in My Oracle support. To find the WebLogic version, select the link for Oracle Fusion Middleware, Oracle WebLogic Server, and then look at the patches for Oracle WebLogic Server 12.2.1.4. Comparing the output from our installation with the PAD document, see that the OPatch version is 13.9.4.2.2 in both and the patches for Oracle Coherence and the WLS patch set update sync up in both documents. Here are some additional resources. The Oracle Help Center for PeopleSoft includes the most recent online help, installation and upgrade guides, and links to other PeopleSoft portals for all PeopleSoft product lines. The PeopleSoft 858 homepage and My Oracle support includes links to the installation and implementation documentation for the current release. Go to the PeopleSoft Update Manager homepage for links to the latest PeopleSoft application update images, documentation, and best practices. Go to the PeopleTools Patches homepage for links to the latest PeopleSoft PeopleTools patches and documentation. You can use the Patch Set Update Release listing for Oracle WebLogic Server to find the latest CPU pages for Oracle WebLogic.